Jesus for Catherine. Which is a blessing. God, Heavenly Father, Creator, you have made each of us in your own image and likeness, and each of the people that we serve also in your image and likeness. You sent your Son to show us the way that we should live, the way that we should relate to one another. We ask that as we continue our deliberations and as we do the work that you have given to us to do, that we are mindful of that dignity, that you send your spirit of wisdom, a spirit of courage, a spirit of counsel, so that every work that is undertaken, every deliberation that is made, will truly be because it is your honor and glory that is promoted and the welfare of the people whom we have been called to serve. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus, and to it we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, any additions to the agenda? I have one uh, restroom wall with that. already put on the agenda a third appropriation for the $62 and then the request for the use of the skating rink, number two, under citizens' comments. And then um, new business, need to add a neighborhood revitalization plan. <laughs> to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of January 22, 2013, approve appropriation ordinance 0205-2013 in the amount of $59,060.12, approve appropriation ordinance 1231-2012-B in the amount of $62, and approve appropriation ordinance 0205-2013-A in the amount of $10,348.15, to approve the mayor's burn proclamation. So we okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed. We have Laura Davis, citizen comment. Um, I've come to the council tonight to ask for your consideration um, to accept well, to see if um, you would consider a donation of memorial playground equipment um, in one of the city parks here. And I brought this book tonight and it kind of shows some of the selections that I was kind of thinking might be appropriate uh, if uh, you made that consideration. I was hoping it would be maybe a priority at Cornwall Park to help enhance the south end of the town. Um, so you can pass that around and look at her. Yeah, pages more. Um, well, just the two that I had there, 34 and 54. So those are, um, yeah, a little bit different age range on them. Um, kind of would like to, uh, you know, consider maybe a little bit younger age. I know that down at Brown Park right now, um, the kids that aren't tall enough um, need assistance from the adults to get up onto that equipment. Um, so that's why I've kind of looked at this company. Um, I've looked at several playground e uh, equipment companies over the years working through the school, and um, I know that this company has pretty good stuff, and it's also uh, fairly accessible by the kids. So I'm just going to pass that around. And I don't need a yes or no, I'm just, I guess, a consideration if it's something that you'd be willing to entertain. Oh, you'd be 
say receiving a donation. Yeah. Receiving a donation. Oh, you're yes, not. I'd like okay. to donate donate the playground. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we need to match any funds? Well, um, I don't know if if uh, there has been anything on your agenda about improvements for uh, Cornwall Park. It might be a nice time to do that in conjunction with this. If that's something that you've been considering. Um, I know that there probably would have to be some discussion about the size of the equipment and the location that it would be placed in. The um, only thing I would say is, you, and I'm all for this, we mm -hmm. just need to look at the size and then we'll have to expand the the, the base of the, the, the uh, safety area and all that stuff. So. Okay, and I know that um, one of my thoughts yeah. with Cornwall Park was the fact that they have a lot of soccer games down there and I know that they may need to maintain a certain area for the soccer field. Um, hopefully, maybe this could be an enhancement uh, to help entertain those kids that um, are not involved in those rec activities at that time. <coughs> now, is that, is that fence still around our Cornwall Park the way it has been for years? Got the cable and the hot the cable and the pipe, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be something if we're going to put some playground equipment out of there, take that out of Cornwall Pond, maybe and put a new, nicer fence around it. What type of fence were you thinking about? Oh, I was kind of thinking of a, some kind of a small vinyl fence, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's just something like that. Does it even need, need one? Don't need one? Don't take well, it out. You probably need something to keep vehicles from driving oh, in. That's, yeah. You know, that's basically yeah. why it's there. I don't know. I'm not real, I've seen a lot of the vinyl fence around. I don't know how durable it is. I mean, maybe for some age you are, but I don't know how well it holds up. With people shoving on it, leaning on it, or you know, people standing around watching and lean back. I, I have no idea how. You know, I know it's supposed to stand up to the wind, but I don't I'll know. Uh, throw it out there. I was T-boned in the, the intersection of the county barn years ago from the driver's side and went clear into the steel post on the Cornwall Park side. And I don't think there was any repair done to the fence. There you go. So. <laughs> Old, old field tubing and cables. Well, that's pretty tough, but yeah. if you got a bunch of kids around there, one of them happens to fall on that, you got a problem. Yeah, that's something. Is put smooth caps Maybe on Maybe put some those. caps on them. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I think some yeah, of them have got uh, well, like a welded cap. Do they? If, if I'm not mixed up about what's up there at uh, Brown Park, I know it's, yeah. it's a different style. But uh, it may be just open with a cable through it. So. So we need to make a motion then if we... If, if I don't, if, if it's approved and if I donate the equipment, is that something that the city could install or... Oh, yeah, I'd like certainly. most of the money to go towards equipment, not mm -hmm. installation. Sure. Okay. You'd probably... Go ahead. I guess I would prefer that you... You pick. Okay, well Which it would be between um, the four sets that you saw there on page uh, thir uh, 34 and 54 and I was thinking that I, I kind of prefer the uh, red and blue and yellow. No. Yeah, you can get it in two different colors, uh, combinations, any of these. You can get it in the, what they call the natural or you can get it in the playful is what they call this other one. If I could, the only thing I would like to do, and you know, you can still go ahead and accept the donation, but I'd like to work with Nick, you know, on the rec commission as far as making sure we're not going to do something to uh, cause them an issue with their their field. Like you said, there, it's a little cramped. I'm, I think we can make it work, but I, I want to work with him and not cause him a problem. Right. We'll go from there. So, you know. I'll make a motion to accept it. Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Generous donation. Citizen comments. Request 
use of skating rink for PE classes February 15, 2013, from 8 to 10. Yeah, Cindy Friesen called, and um, that is when the um, junior high band festival, festival yeah, will be going on, so they can't use the gyms. And in the past, they've had the whole day, but their kids are only going to school half a day, so. Motion, second. Motion, second. Any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Aye. Any other citizen comments? <coughs> Fire Department, Michael? I don't have any. Any questions for Mike? Police Department, Aaron? The only thing I have is that last night the uh, tail lights on the patrol car went out. Uh, we took it into the shop and they determined that it's the switch that works the headlights and the tail lights and the switch has got a short in it. Uh, we already had the part ordered through LJ&J. I can't give you an estimate on cost because I don't know at this time what it is. But I wanted to make the council aware of that so we can get it repaired. Sounds good. Have you had any more problems with the blazer? Yeah, uh, it was a battery. Same as usual, but it's running fine now, so keep going. Any questions for Aaron? Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Administration now. In regard to uh, swimming pool manager, I feel like it's probably time to go ahead and uh, get some ads run, and we'll probably handle that as far as uh, position will be open until filled. You know, we may may get some applications right away, or we may not, and, and we may be you know, uh, while getting that filled. So I think that's what we'll look at as far as that. Uh, so if you're okay with that? We'll go ahead and does that is that your consensus? That and guards. Well, normally, I mean, well, I guess we can go ahead and add that uh, to that. We can take we can take applications. Yeah, I mean, and that way, once we have a put in the same ad, same time. And then manager, then. Okay, I have a question. Um, on the guards, is there a reason why we don't hire anyone under sixteen? I'm not sure anybody under sixteen can become certified to Red Cross. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, due to liability reasons. That's well, just a I guess. thought um, Connie had told me that Stafford hired guards under the age of 16 and wondered why we didn't. And so I was just asking that question. I can look into that. Okay. Okay. The other is uh, also as far as contract mowing. Uh, we can, if you're open to that, uh, we could go ahead and do that and end it on uh, March 5th, which would be the first meeting in March. And get the paper and let it run. Sealed bids? That's me. Yeah. yeah. Sealed bids for the contract mowing for overgrown lines and stuff. And like John and I were talking today, with the sale that's taking place, we may not have as many possibly as yet to be seen. So, uh, uh, the other item is uh, COLA. Uh, John had worked up a uh, spreadsheet. It's in your information there for your consideration.
first the first row would be like your actual <coughs> route. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will mention that um, <coughs> one consideration is that the uh, payroll taxes went up 2.2 percent, and we allowed for 3 percent in our budget for this year. Yes. <coughs> Payroll tax all goes to state, federal. state, federal. Yeah. So but it's the federal that went up. That's part of the Social Security. You don't want your two percent raise after you retire, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you think it'll be there? Oh, I just want it on. Is that the form of motion? Sure. Well, your second. So you want to do 2.2 instead of 2.5? No, just the 2.5. Just the 2.5, okay. I would second that. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any further discussion? I don't know how they always do it, but I just want to believe we're in a straight 2% or whatever it is. They're across the board. But that was, when you when Joe spoke last week, you know, he kind of said that's that is standard. I mean, that's well, I how it's done. I understand that, often. but the it doesn't cost the cost of living is the same pretty much for everybody. It's your standards that change that. Mm -hmm. So if it if it costs the lowest paid guy if his increase, say, is 200 bucks, whatever it is, for cost of living, then that's what it is for everybody. Just because you happen to have, you make $50 an hour compared to $10 an hour, the only reason your cost of living is higher is because your standards are higher. I know, and... And that's the reason I'm not a, I'm not a fan in the, the, the percent straight across the board. I'm not opposed to wage increase, but I'm just, okay. I'm opposed to the percent straight across the board. I will say, considering the, the payroll tax increase was by percentage, that that would, you know, pull through with that amount at least. <clears throat> well, I know I, I deal with it. With K State, that's kind of how it's done there. And my last job before that, it was the same way. I'm not sure how everybody does it, but I know it's kind of a double edged sword. It would increase your. Do you have the dollar figure? You budgeted for the thirteen thousand three hundred twenty-three. Yes. yes. The three percent. That's the annual increase. Yeah. Yes. For all employees. For all employees. Yeah. Oh, the subject. Do we write paychecks twice a month? Once a month. Twice a month. 
about as far as the uh, restroom, the public restroom out in the hallway. Some of you looked at it. Uh, there's a wall in there that's plastered and it's got some pretty big cracks and it's starting to buckle. And we either need to probably seal it up, shut it off so the way get in there, or I would be, with council approval, be uh, willing to just get some prices for repair from some uh, contractors and just go ahead and get it done and we'll go with the best price. And we may not have much choice as far as availability. I may be able to just get one, you know, if they're busy or whatever, and just get it fixed, I think, within reason. If you're so okay if, somebody you, if it's somebody you think is good enough, just have them do it. Instead of taking the time to do all the bids and stuff. I, th I think what I figure is just have them come and give me a proposal of what do you think this is going to cost. And then if, if I get a couple of them to compare them and go with that. And, Say everyone may be tied up, and I may just get one if it's a reasonable price. I'd just I'd like to get it done. I'd like to say it was for safety reasons. I think we just have to show that but it's, it's pretty bad. That one, yeah. not here. Right there, but, uh, Is any of your staff interested in the demo? Portion? We, if if you know, and I'd be willing. We could probably do that part of it, and just have somebody to do that. I mean, I'd be willing to do that. We could probably get that squeezed in. And mm -hmm. if you had it bound to the bare studs before they even looked at it, is it studs or brick? No, it's it's. I'm sure it's from looking at it. I think it's probably going to be lath, probably plaster. Is what I think it is. There is one hole. I guess I can peek back in. But yeah, I mean, if we do that with just to understand, we could do the demo, and I wouldn't have a problem with that. Didn't that wall's already been? You said sheetrock. Yeah. So you're going. We're going to end up doing that one. The back one has not. I think it has been sheetrocked. Yeah. And what about I, the ceiling? Uh, I couldn't answer that. I mean, and that, they all look pretty sound. That's that's the worst one. But, well, well, I would say my, my deal would be if, if it's already half done, why not just go ahead and finish it and get it all sheetrocked and forget about it? That way it's taken care of. I mean, I'm fine with that. But I mean, some sometime or another, it'll it'll be back to that. Yeah, I would say I'd just make a look or say just go ahead and do it. Okay. Have the whole thing fixed. Very good. So is that a consensus? Questions for me. As long as it's not outrageous. Yeah, I, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Just got um, one thing. I was talking with uh, Bill over at St. John Lumber, and he said that he's getting uh, quite a bit of business from the uh, crew over here. He's, they said that they're going to try and keep ordering from him um, as, as much as possible. As if they, that's what that crew likes to do. So he's seeing a little bit of benefit here in the town, so that's good. My road's looking good out in front of my house. You like all the flags and stuff? <laughs> so pretty. But but whoever's grading it is doing a good job too. So. Yeah, that'd be really good. Okay. It's a little smoother. Okay. Administration job. Um, the only thing I have really to report is that we're getting ready for the audit. Auditors will be here on Thursday and Friday, um, and we've been sending stuff for the last month and a half, probably, well, not quite a month, to them so they can get an awful lot done ahead of time, so they should only have to be here two days. So that's what we've been doing. That's awesome. Any questions for Donna? Um, I wanted to find out uh, what's going on with the uh, website. It has a... I am working with it, um, okay. the guy, and he's training me, and they're about to get it skinned. I don't know what the term actually means, but he's about ready for you guys to see at least 
a part of it, mm -hmm. and then I'll start working on a lot of the content of it. Okay, so and updating because it hasn't been updated since January eighth. I've had a few people come up and ask. Yeah, about it, so. yeah, and that's what I'm working with him. We're okay. working on some templates for the uh, minutes and stuff, so they hold their spacing, and um, it's pretty interesting. But you know, he calls me, and we try to slip in 30 minutes of training for both of us having time to do it, and it's working out pretty well. Um, but. I would say I'm probably the one that holds it up as much as anything, just to have the time mm -hmm. to step in and take that training when there's nothing else going on. Once this audit's done, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that things will move on a little, more time. Okay. Get a little quicker. Yeah, of course, then we have Jubilee. But, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, John. Yeah. Thank you. I'll move for a 10-minute executive session. Attorney's client privilege. Myself and counsel. For Donald and the counsel. Second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed. You getting cold? Yep. Call the regular meeting back to order. I'm done. That's all I have. Any questions for Don? New business health insurance workshop date. Yes. When you want to do it, right? How long of a deal is it? I mean, is it something we need to have a different meeting for, or is it something we can do here, or what? It's however long you guys want to do. I think, you know. We talked about looking at what the state plan is, and we talked about um, looking further into right. the other, and then the Blue Cross still, because we only renewed the contract for six months. So we need to do our homework here before that six months is up, and we have to make another decision. And what was the name of the other one? Uh, another insurance company? Some kind of brokerage. So. Yeah, Alan? It's when two women came in. Yeah. yeah. yeah I can't remember, so I remember what, what the name of it Now, you're going to just talk the workshop amongst us and you report to us a little bit, or are we going to have one of those insurance companies come down? Well, I mean, I've tried to tell you what I know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not an insurance expert, and so I would prefer that you listen to what the experts have to say. You know, if there's somebody from the state that will come in and present their... Is there, I was going to say, is there somebody we can get that's neutral? You know what I mean? That understands this, that ain't from... Because if you have one insurance agent talk yeah. about the other one, mm -hmm. the other one talk about the other one, you ain't going to get nowhere. Well, they they the same meeting. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> to, me, uh, to me, I'd like to have somebody neutral. I don't know it. who that is. Yeah. Um, I will say have a salesman, no matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, the Blue Cross Scout, put the the real numbers into the equation that what was the other gal's name that they presented to us because she didn't have the <coughs> numbers or something, mm -hmm. and it actually comes out in a negative, you know, so that it costs you guys more. So, but, where, okay, where did the brokerage firm come from? Where did we come up with that? True. Uh, they approached us. The Actually, they approached or? Stafford and uh, have been trying to get on over there, and they, they called me and asked if, if we could, if they could uh, present their, for consideration. Well, yeah, yeah. So. But they did, right? Mm -hmm. They did, and Blue Cross Blue Shield did. And but the real numbers, according to what, at the time, their real numbers didn't match because they weren't actual real numbers. And why? They're, they're, because we wouldn't, for, which John and I talked prior to, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let them have, John, the city would not let them have Blue Cross and Blue Shields numbers. 
which I think but when, it's if you're fair. trying to compare, and you can't compare if you don't I, know the numbers. I will. I did so. ask them to send me their spreadsheet so I could put the numbers in, and I did not get any response that way. That'd be like one contractor going to another contractor saying, "What are you going to bid this job at?" So I can come in comparatively. Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't feel like they needed those. Did the well, I mean, just, just yes. Okay, uh -huh. so they have the health. Mm -hmm. They have the health profiles. Yeah. So they should be able to give you a solid number, right. regardless of. Right. I think their number was what, solid. Yes, their what, number. What the, she was trying to do was um, figure out what the cost savings would be. Right. And so, you know, what I told her, since she wanted those numbers before she gave you guys her numbers. John, who is her? The. The. Cost or the, the agent. The brokerage. Okay. Agent. Um. Kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, so that I didn't show Blue Cross's hand, that didn't seem right to me to show them what their numbers were. Um, she wouldn't send me the, you know, I, she said, well, I can't figure the cost savings for you. And I said, well, send me your numbers. I can figure the cost savings. And, you know, I didn't and get And have it. you actually done that? I have stuff in there, not ready for presenting, but... Um, we put the real numbers in, and it it comes out just a little bit, costing more, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Well, you said Blue Cross Blue Shield did that. They, they put their numbers in that we're doing now. Yeah. yeah. So we need to have a workshop for you to show us all those numbers. Well, yeah, and if you want to look at the state plan, we need to have somebody come present that. That, to me, I, those are the only options that I know of, if you guys know of others. I also think that if um, if we're going to go with a brokerage firm, that maybe we should look at, um, I know Trey Bergen does insurance and stuff here in town. I don't know if he can do the same thing. I don't know if there's any other people here in town that are doing insurance in that way that maybe we need to, to look at as well. Just well, I mean, if we have somebody in town selling it, it'd be nice to at least let them have a shot at yeah. bidding it. So we need to go ahead and advertise, maybe? I don't know how you go about advertising it. <coughs> insurance. I just health insurance. I mean, everybody kind of knows who, I mean, you kind of know who they are if you want to call them and ask them. I mean, the only one time. I know is Trey. Right. Does anybody know of anybody else? Because <coughs> I, you know, I'm kind of out I've there no related, but... Um, Who do you get your insurance from? Okay. Blue Cross. Blue Cross. You Blue Cross too? Mm -hmm. I just but see. I didn't understand. The one thing I didn't understand about that brokerage deal is it was still Blue Cross Blue Shield. Mm -hmm. And I don't quite understand that either. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I didn't. They're playing it, it, with the deductible part. Right. I mean, they're they're buying a they're buying a, a basic casualty catastrophic kind of coverage, and then they're they're playing with the numbers in the, in the, in the, uh, they're and they're banking on the fact that everybody won't use their we'll deductible. Yeah. 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 Right. And in a larger group, I can see how that might work. Well, she said this is about as small as group as it might work in when she was talking to us. So, well, like I said, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But it never hurts to. That's right. So what is the state be? plan? Uh, I'm not that familiar with it. I, again, I think it, Blue Cross is one it's, of their options. I think, yeah, it depends on where you're at. I mean, it used to be they had preferred health, if it, you know, if you were in that Wichita market, but you're out of it. I think really the only option out here used to be Blue Cross. But, but it's a state, I mean, they have criteria as to, you know, and it's usually a little bit more than what the city's plans but, you know, Traditionally it has. Traditionally it has, but like, it may not be. Simply because we have a smaller group here than with the state plan, it's everybody that's in that plan is in the whole group. Well, didn't they? I mean, it's been a long time ago. They came out and gave a talk. Somebody from the state came out and talked. I don't think it was to council, but it, they end up comparing it to what Blue Cross was, and it wasn't as good a plan. And I, and I think I've heard that the state plan has changed from what it, when they first started out doing this. So, you know. I think I heard to have somebody come out. 
I mean, if we just had... Geez, what's a can again? Isn't it gross? Thank Are you. they self-employed? The well, county? Sure. Well, so, I mean, uh, self I think, well, I'm sure they have some kind of catastrophic coverage. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's other health groups out there. There's United Healthcare, there's Coventry Healthcare. Coventry's I mean, being bought by Aetna, I, I think. Aetna. I mean, there's a lot of companies out there that can be cheaper. I mean, I, I compared some, and I covered it was much cheaper for me to go as an individual policy on if I had higher or higher deductibles and higher co insurance. But, you know, that may be something you guys want to look at. But you also got to make sure your physicians that you go to, as a, as a rule, are going to be accepting whatever, whatever health insurance you choose to take. But, you know, I called the doctors we use and made sure that they accepted that insurance. But, you want to be having changing plans to some plan that, that no one's going to pay for a doctor with it. So. Yeah, I think that he got the bills. Mm -hmm. Do you want to call the state person and see when they can come out? Okay. And, and for me personally, the sooner we do this, the more out. Yeah. The easier it is for me to be able to get it. Would you guys Perfect prefer to do it like after the meeting or before the the next meeting, <laughs> rather than having a different night? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, before a meeting would be good. And maybe just do a dinner meeting or something. Mm -hmm. well, I was just saying, unless it's like a five-hour deal. Oh well, we could make sure that it isn't. You know, if we say we're going to meet at six o'clock on the nineteenth. Is an hour long enough to get through it? Well, if you're here at 6 o'clock and you're ready to start the meeting at 6 o'clock, you know, if you come at a quarter till so you can get your pizza on your plate or whatever we're going to do so that we're ready to start the meeting at 6, I would hope that that would give time to do that. Can we even bump it up to 5? It's up to you guys. I'll say One you, I mean, for me, I wouldn't take an hour. It'd be hard enough time to go through nothing, but maybe it would be. I don't know. You just ask this guy how long his presentation part was. Yeah. Look at the town, we'll do it for the 19th, unless he says he needs more time. And five. Yeah, I mean, we can generally do it, five. schedule it for five. If that don't work, then. And if it doesn't take call. that much time, you have a little break right. before I mean, we right. go into the meeting, okay? I mean, if he thinks it's going to take longer or something, just send a text out or whatever. Okay. Everybody. It could just post presentation on uh, DVD. Uh, <laughs> and then you could really ask a lot of questions that way, right? Oh, yeah. You have to take notes. <laughs> we could maybe Skype him in so he doesn't have to travel. <laughs> okay, I'll get a hold of you. Okay. No guarantees. Uh, neighborhood revitalization. Yeah, um, I put at your places. <clears throat> We have been doing this neighborhood revitalization. Right now, the people that are on the committee to meet, and they meet maybe once a year, DG said, once or maybe twice a year, um, are Jill and Jim Lakey. So it hasn't been updated since Jim was off. Um, so he needs a new name for Jim, and if you want to go ahead and update with two names, that would be fine too, since Jill's not planning on in here after May. I'll do it for Amy Collins. Amy's off in, in May also. Yo, you have to be a part of the city? That's what we've had in the past. Well, I wouldn't think so. It doesn't say that. I'm reading between the lines just there. The city of St. John. The yeah. entities are the City of Maxwell, City of St. John, City of Stafford, City of Hudson, and then the school districts. So yeah, I think you need governing body members because you're making you're making decisions on those taxes and stuff to your constituents. How many times a year do they meet? Once or twice. Okay. Kevin, you can do it. <laughs> So we need a second one with Kevin. Well, no, I ain't got time. <clears throat> we'll be the judge of that. Yeah. I'll move Bob's domains. I'll second.
All those in favor? Aye. 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 No. <laughs> All those opposed? <laughs> Is this serious? Yeah. Yep. Once or twice a year, you can make time. You're yeah. old, a lot older. Kevin. Slowing yeah. down more than I am. Oh, so I'm, glad okay. you I'm glad you didn't hold the add the wiser part in there. <laughs> yeah. So, anybody making a motion on this guy? Kind of yep. Yeah. It was Who? a motion. I make oh. a motion, Kevin. Second. Oh, it was. <laughs> it was three to one. Four to one, Bob. Well, we need well, we two. We got to do two. Oh. Both of you are Lakey and Jill are both leaving? Yeah. We got it covered. Move on. We didn't vote on this last one. Oh, we're all Aye. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, Aye. 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 Boy, Kevin, like volunteering. What all is that entail? You'll Me. find out, don't worry about it. Me, the Me. Annex, probably. Yeah, with representatives from these others. PG can give you more. I had him send this over it so you had at least an idea of what the whole revitalization plan is. Any old business? Motion to adjourn. Yeah, they need to subscribe right there. We're a little late there, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed?